All right, Eddie, what's this next test? Uh, what we're gonna highlight today is what to do if you're only able to replace two tires at a time. Obviously, the preferred situation is four, uh, but today we're gonna compare where you put those two new tires if you can only get two. So a set of new on the front and a set of new on the back. That's which, the test. Where do you put them? Yep, exactly. All right, let's do it. So which so tires are new here? Two new rear tires. These are the two new rear one. tires, okay. And remember, in the real world, you don't get to creep up on a puddle, so let's go ahead and accelerate. Let's give them a spin out around the corner. You won't spin this car. Seriously? I promise you. That's the point of this demonstration. Yeah, because I'm, I'm surprised I haven't Put lost Put your foot already. to the floor right now. See, all that happens is we gradually slide to the outside. But yeah. since those new tires are on the rear axle, we've got stability. All right, what's next, doctor? We've gone in for a tire change, and now we've got the opposite configuration. We've got those new tires in the front, those half-worn tires in the rear. We're about to head out to the hydroplaning track, and let's see how the vehicle performs. So four new tires, That's always recommended. Best case scenario. But if you have to have two, I had so much more control of the vehicle when they were in the rear. Absolutely. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Lunchtime.